When you use the member area feature of Squarespace, you can have the log in option displayed in the header of your website. When someone logs into their account, they'll see the word account displayed in the header. But what if you want that to say sign in or VIP area or profile or settings and billing? We can't change that text in the editor, but we can with custom code. And that's exactly what you'll learn how to do in this video. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and all the codes I'm about to share with you are available for free on my blog at insidethesquare.co. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, and I'll teach you exactly how these codes work and what parts of the code you'll want to customize to make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to select Pages, then Custom Code, then Custom CSS. If your menu doesn't look like mine, press the forward slash key on your keyboard to search for your CSS panel so you can navigate there directly. Now that we're here, I'll zoom in on this screen so you can see the exact code I'm about to paste. I'm also going to circle the login option in the website header so you can see what's going to change as soon as we paste this code. The word login has now been replaced with the words sign in, and here's how this code works. The first part of this code sets that login text to be a font size of zero, but we had to reset the line height to make sure it was still in line with all of the other links in our website header. After that, we told the computer browser to add the new content, the word sign in, and then we had to reset the font size so it was a larger size than zero, which we had set right here in the first part of our code. Now, all of this is very customizable. You can change the text in the parentheses to anything you want, or even change the font family to something completely different. Whatever you decide to customize between these curly brackets will only be applied to that user account link when someone isn't logged in. Let's go ahead and select Save and talk about that logged in state. I'm going to click on our new VIP area link, and I'll sign in with the test account I created. Now that we're signed in, we'll see the account panel. I'll go ahead and select close, and you can see the word has now changed to account. We can customize this text too. I'll add a new line to our custom CSS and paste in our second set of code. This code works very similarly to the first one that we added. We changed the font size to zero and made sure the line height was set to one for the text that was there, and then replaced it with the words settings and billing between these quotation marks, and we adjusted the font size back to the size we wanted it to be. Just like we did for the logged out version, you can adjust the font size, font weight, font family, all kinds of things about the text settings and billing that's now displayed. In fact, let's go ahead and change this back to that font family. And just for fun, let's go ahead and customize the font color as well. I'll change it to that peach color that's being used by the button so we can tell that this link is a different link than what we see in the main navigation. I'll go ahead and select save and let's review this code one last time. This part of the code right here customizes that logged in state. This is where we change the text account to say settings and billing. We change the font size, font family and color, and all of this is customizable. This part right here is what removes the automatic text that's there, setting the font size to zero so we can't read it. Now, if we go ahead and click on settings and billing and we sign out of the test account, we can see here that we changed the logged out state to have its own custom text that says VIP area. We changed the font size, the font weight, and the font family. And again, all of this code is very customizable, and I want to encourage you to get creative here and add your own unique style. Underneath this video, you'll find a link to my original blog post where you can grab all of the codes that we use for free. Just make sure that you customize the important parts of the code to make it uniquely yours. Not just the text between those quotation marks, but make sure that the font size, the font color, and maybe even the font family are customized for your own unique style. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if you have a question about Squarespace, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.